every once in a while, you find that thing that just takes you back to your childhood. It takes you back to these memories. And that's what I love about our senses as a human being, whether it's taste, sight, smell, there's always a sense of something that happens. You pick it up, you look at it, or you smell it, or you taste it, or you feel it, and you just, it, it can trigger memories from 20 years ago that you don't really ever think about. But all of a sudden, this one thing triggers that memory. And that just happened to me recently. And recently it happened to me with a beard oil and a beard butter. And it took me back to being a child and always asking my dad every time we go to the gas station to get an icy or something like that. And they have that certain smell and that certain taste. So I'm going to talk to you about this beard product today. But first, if you are new here, consider subscribing. We talk about beard products. We talk about which product is going to help you maintain your best beard, how to maintain your best beard. We talk about some science behind it, some scents that I like or don't like. We talk about feel. And what's important to me is that you get products that work for your beard. So I'm going to give you experiences that I have with my beard. But then I'm going to show you how to find which product works the best for you. And I got a bunch of videos on that, but that's what this channel is about. So consider subscribing, hitting that thumbs up bell, bringing in your friends and family. And if you are a returning subscriber, viewer, watcher, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. You coming back every week really drives me uh, to make more videos and more content for you guys. So thank you for that. And today in this video, we're going to talk about a scent that sent me back to my childhood. I'm going to share it with you guys. And I've reviewed the company before. So this is basically going to be scent related. It's a pre-order, it's a release, and we're going to get into it right after this. All right, so the scent that I'm talking about right here is uh, the Boardwalk Mac from the Bearded Mac. Now, if you've never tried the Bearded Mac, it doesn't matter which scent you get. I don't really, I mean, pick what's going to suit your fancy when you're on the website and you're reading about it. And some of them just stand out and they're like, oh my gosh, that one just sounds so good. So pick your fancy uh, with scents. Boardwalk Mac is like an icy, you know, look at the label. It's like an old school icy. You got the chill, the cherry red icy. You also have uh, the blue raspberry icy. Now don't have too much of the blue raspberry icy. I I've done that before. It does weird things with your, your, your body. Uh, too much blue turns certain other things too much color. So if, if you're eating ICs, be careful with the blue. Maybe just mix the blue and the red a little bit and make a fun color. Your kids will love it or you'll love it. Um, and that's what the Bearded Mac did here. So again, if you've never tried the Bearded Mac, try out whatever one you want. Because one thing that I love about the Bearded Mac, and you'll hear me talk about it all the time, is, is the owner. And not only is uh, Chris, the owner, a, a fantastic human being, from what I know, he's a fantastic human being, but he cares about the science and the feel. So you'll see some crazy beard carrier oils in his products that you don't necessarily, you, 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 you'll see him around. And I'm not going to say he's the only one that does this because he's not. But the point is you're not seeing three simple ingredients mixed together in a beard oil to put out beard oil to make money. You're seeing quality ingredients. You'll, if you follow the Bearded Mac since he's come in, he's made about 50 different iterations of his butter because he's trying to find that perfect consistency for your beard, trying to find the best ingredients that he can mix together, that work together, that work with uh, scents uh, to give you a high quality product. That's the priority of the Bearded Mac is a high quality product. Somehow along the way, he just does some amazing sense too. So I'm really impressed. Uh, but let me see if I can just read some ingredients to you here real quick. You got camellia seed oil, broccoli seed oil, fractionated coconut oil, oil, moringa seed oil, argan oil, hemp seed oil, castor oil, avocado oil, cranberry seed oil, tamanu oil, vitamin E, and fragrance blend. So you, you got a lot of crazy cool things in there that you don't see all the time. You don't. He doesn't have to throw that many in there. He chooses to because he wants the best product for your beard. Now... When we say what's the best for your beard, it, it's it's what feels good to you. What makes your beard feel healthy? I can sit here and say Moringa seed oil is the best oil in the world. And I would say that because it works great for my beard. It doesn't mean it's literally the best. I don't think there's a way to find out which one's the best. So he finds what works great together, what works great for 
major for his beard and the majority of the customer's beard. Doesn't mean it's going to work the best for yours, but the only way you know is to try it out. And a, a lot of these higher end carrier oils that cost more money seem to work a little bit better. Uh, so in the butter, you got shea butter. Okay, shea nil nilotica, 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 kokum butter, babasu oil, kapaku butter, mira mira, the carrier oil blend. I mean. Half of these I can't even say, but I've done my research and they all have amazing benefits for you and your beard and your face, your skin, your hair, all of the above. It, it's amazing stuff. So let me just go, A, I mean, the, the oils look amazing. And, you know, I struggle with this video because I've had these products for a while. And I struggle with this video because right when they pretty much got announced, there was a couple people that had them a little bit early and they made videos basically on pre-order date when it first started. And one of those was uh, Brian Beards and Banjos. And if you haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel, probably my favorite uh, beard YouTuber out there. And I say that because everything is done with a purpose. You know, he's he's a very straight shooter. He's done how to protect your, your beard with masks, with beard masks. He's done um, beard advice series of how to trim your beard better. He helps people out with that. Um, and he really cares about um, the quality of your beard and not just selling product. And I, I really like that. And if I didn't, you know, so I, I don't mean to step on anybody else by saying Brian's my favorite. It just tends to be the thing I go for, the science, the thing behind it. Andy, just Andy's another one that is about the quality, the ingredients. And so I really uh, appreciate him too. He hasn't made very many videos lately. So anyway, anyway, I'm off topic. What I'm trying to get you to do is, is check out Brian at Beards and Banjos if you haven't before. The YouTube channel name is Beards and Banjos, but it's, the channel is fantastic. Anyway, I struggle with this video particularly because he made a video on it and he covered basically every single possible thing that you could have. And I'm just like, well, what do I talk about that Brian doesn't? And so the purpose of this video is basically for anybody that maybe hasn't seen Brian's video to give you my take on it, but also to send you over to Brian and Beards and Banjos YouTube channel because he's amazing. And uh, he did a fantastic review on this and he talked about mixing it with other scents. And he talked about the scent. And and one of the things that he said with the scent is that it is a little bit cherry heavy. And he put it off as a good thing and that it's cherry heavy. So don't take that as it's a bad thing. It is a good thing. The cherry scent is really good. Um, and that's like the first thing I get with it is the cherry scent and it is the cherry i mean it's the cherry icy that you would be used to as a kid and I, that smell just takes me back to the the wax cherry lips and things that i had as a kid at the gas station and the ices and and all those fun things and it just it reminded me of the baseball field when i was younger and a couple other things with my dad and then once you warm it up and you put it in your beard it, you kind of get a little bit more of that blue raspberry um in there but there's just something about it. And and I love the Bearded Mac that while people are doing pumpkin spice latte and getting ready for fall scents, he's releasing a summer scent or a fruity scent. And, and I really love that and respect that. Like to me, that's just, I don't know. It's just something something fun uh, to do. And it's a little bit different because it seems like everybody right now is, is going towards fall scents or getting ready for fall scents, testing fall scents, starting to release fall scents. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on to summer still. So this is uh, perfect for me. But Brian also talked about mixing it with other scents, and I got that idea from Brian. So I started mixing it around with some other scents that the Beard of Mac has, and this is like, holy cow, you create – like he could literally create five more scents based on the scents he already has and just mixing them together. So that's awesome. Uh, the Feeling Beer with Beard of Mac, this butter, I don't know what reiteration of butter this is for him because he's always testing and creating new stuff. This is like some of the smoothest butter I've ever felt. There's not a, a, a thing in there. There's not one little ounce of grain or anything in this butter. It is just like – soft and smooth and uh, melts down really nice basically when you start touching it. Um, it. It doesn't really say if it's a whipped or a poured butter. To me, it's a poured butter. It looks poured. Uh, doesn't seem anything whip. It's dense like it's poured. Um, but it's almost like I'm taking just, it, it kind of reminds me of chapstick. You know, like you got chapstick, it, you know, I don't know. It's kind of, it, it's just so smooth. There's not, there's not an ounce of any grit or nothing in here. And, and to me, that's amazing. I've been spreading this on like on my arms, on my dry spots or anything like that. I get a little dry in the summer. Uh, spread it around on the dry spots. Feels good. Smells good. The oil, amazing. Feel in beard. Um, and that's what's number one to me. Scent is, is novelty. If it smells good, great. 
Um, if it doesn't smell good, I mean, it's going to deter me. Uh, but the way it makes my beer feel is one of the things I go for. And Beer Mac has always had that. I think he's getting better with every little change he makes. It gets better and better for me. Um, and then you have the same. So um, with that being said, I think you should check out Brian's video, first of all, for more uh more uh, on the bearded mac uh, in this scent the scent's great it's awesome it's a great august scent going into september scent to kind of keep summer hanging around a little bit before we jump into the pumpkin spice lattes and such um bearded mac if you've never tried it is fantastic uh feeling beard it's it's one of the top companies that doesn't get enough recognition i feel and I mean, for those of you that are going to say bearded mac is all over the place it's like there's some times where he goes on command's corner and does something but a lot of times he's pretty under the radar and i don't think a lot of times considered in people's top five uh, beer companies or maybe not the top five that you think about when you think of beer companies, but he deserves to be. He's an amazing company, amazing person, ingredient focused, shelf ready uh, by looks. Um, so, I mean, he could be in a store in my opinion. So I think if you haven't tried them out, you're missing out. If you have tried them out, you probably know how good they are. And this is a scent that you might want to pick up. I have a discount code for you, which is FB15 or FB20. I don't, I don't know what it is for sure. I think it's FB15. Um, but I'll, I'll double check it and I'll put it up here right on the screen for you so you can see it and 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 know what the discount code is for you. And that's going to save you a little bit of money. You can go pre-order this or or pick it up on the website. I'll link the website down below too so you can do that. Uh, so thank you for checking out this video. Go check out Brian and Beards and Banjo. His channel will be linked down below. Check out his beard advice series, his mask series. Masks are coming back a little bit and he tells you which masks are great for beards. Uh, but he also just does amazing products. Brian, you know, Brian was the one that uh, kind of gave me the idea of like, oh, I don't use a co-wash anymore. And so I tried it and now I've never used a co-wash in pff, over a year. It's crazy. Uh, but Brian was the one that kind of initially started that off. So I want to give him credit for that. Make sure he has the credit for that. But And then you talk about porosity. I know Brian knows what porosity is all about. And I got a series on porosity. So you can go back and learn from that. You can go back and learn from Brian. And it's all education. He's a teacher. Okay. I'm, I'm hyping. Is this a Bearded Mac video or a Brian Beard and Banjo's video? I, I don't know. It's a Faithfully Bearded video where we talk about what's on our mind and, and help you to grow and maintain your beard better. And Brian can help with that. And the Bearded Mac helps with that. All right. So... Thank you for checking this out. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. If kids are going back to school and anything, you know, you're going back to school, whatever. Uh, I hope you uh, have a great time with that and everything is good. Um, I hope everybody's safe and healthy and that we stay healthy through these times. And until I talk to you guys again soon, thank you for checking this out. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't. Be bearded, be you, and God bless.